Hi guys, it's Kelly. I am going to show you a Photoshop skin tutorial. I felt kind of awkward sharing this because it's a selfie of me, but I struggled for so long figuring out how to get skin in Photoshop to look clean and clear, but also look natural and to not have that fake Photoshopped flat look. And I want to share my tips with you. Hopefully this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions during the tutorial. Enjoy. This is our starting photo. My skin is not that bad in this selfie, but I definitely have some wrinkles, some blemishes, some dark spots, under eye circles, and we're going to clean all that up. But first I want to show you an example of what not to do. I see this in Photoshop a lot, like a very flat painted over look um, that it, it just looks Photoshopped and it looks very fake. And we want to avoid that and it's not too hard to do. You start with your background layer and then create a new layer on top of that. And you're going to want to start with your clone stamp tool. Make the opacity something kind of low, like around 25%. And then make sure the edge of your brush is super soft. Then I like to zoom in and you start with one blemish or spot. And you press option to select a source for the stamp tool. So what the stamp tool basically does is it takes a part of the photo and then you, you paint that part of the photo over a new part of the photo. So you want your source to be a clean patch of skin. So I'll select right here and then slowly brush that clean area of skin on top of the blemish. And I keep pressing option and switching up my source because I find that looks a little better. And then continue around the skin area. And I'm just continuing to press option, then paint over a little, press option somewhere else. And it works best to just be patient and slowly build over these areas. For areas like this, it's pretty easy to completely cover it up, but you actually want a little bit of shadow and texture there so that it looks natural. And then same with the under eye circles. Keep your opacity low and just cover it up a little bit to clean it up, but you don't want to completely erase that shadow. And I'm switching my source to over here for this more shadowed part of the face. And then same with the wrinkles, I'll click the clean skin in between and brush over. And again, I like to leave a tiny bit of a wrinkle so that it looks a little more natural. And then same with this blemish. You might have to go over it a couple times with a lower opacity to completely cover it. So it's already looking a lot better. Here's the before. Here's what it's looking like now. And there's one more step I usually do another layer and then switch to my brush tool and then go to something bigger and really soft and really low opacity. I'm using a 6% opacity here. You can use option again to select a color or you can select it from up here, but I usually like to select a color from like the cheek or a little more shadowed part of the face and then just kind of blend everything with like one stroke really low opacity because again we want the texture to show from underneath
and that just evens it out a little bit more. I'm going to copy all of these onto a new layer. So you always want to do your face, you know, editing, taking out blemishes before you filter the photo, or at least I think that turns out better. Because then when you add your filters or other adjustments, you're blending in um, all of the skin together. And then I always like to add a little grain because it adds to the texture of that skin. Now we're done. There's before, there's after. The skin looks so much better, but it still looks natural. I still have some freckles and shadows and spots versus this version that's totally flat. I hope this helps you get some beautiful looking skin in Photoshop. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more Photoshop tips and tutorials. I make new videos every week. I'll see you next time.